Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Chill Adventures. The light's okay. Uh, honestly, I don't really care right now. But welcome to my birthday. It is actually snowing right now, if you can believe it. Um, but that's it's okay. Um, it's been like really warm lately, so not only is the water warm, it's still like 40. As you saw by the weather clip, or the weather uh, thing, it's going to rain all day. Uh, but it's going to be in the 40s, so that's it's way better than snow in February when it's 4 degrees. So I just wanted to uh, get something off my chest here, as it's my birthday, and I'm feeling some type of way, to be honest with you. But I feel this is important to say for a few reasons. Um, mainly because, like... I don't think people in this specific situation say things like this on, well, ever. So, <clears throat> I'll speak for them. But, there are two days in my life that I feel that I deserve people around, like a circle, you know? That's the day that I quit drinking. There's a specific day uh, that I went to rehab and it was a, it was a day. There's a day. And my birthday. And for the long... Forever, really. Like, except for... Until I was... Well, my, my since my 18th birthday. Like, that's a significant birthday. I was alone. My 21st, bir 21st birthday, alone. 25th, same thing. And uh, I'm 37 today. So it's not like today's a special day. But uh, I'm, you know, I'm going to be alone. And... I was with this chick for eight years, and every year when the date that came that I quit drinking, when that day would come up, I would uh, like I would just I would just bring it up a few days before, so like it was just common knowledge. Until one day I didn't bring it up, and there was nothing. So like these significant days that someone like me who is done so much so many things positive to change their life from before I even left Colorado I had to quit hard drugs like like real narcotics I had to I stopped that with the help of no rehab it was because I needed to and then I moved to Marquette where I subsequently uh, picked up a terrible drinking habit and that went from basically 18 to 26 and I was I was forced to leave Marquette because my family didn't want to do anything didn't want to have anything to do with me rightfully so like my parents weren't up there so it was just like my extended family they didn't want anything to fucking do with me so I had to come downstate and uh, I was down here for about a year before I put myself into rehab there was no police nobody gave a shit what I was doing and I just I got lucky that I snapped into reality and uh and I put myself in there and it thankfully it took it's been 12 years and and then fast forward to now like you know <clears throat> that there are people like me that have done more that have overcome more and they're in this fucking situation while there are lesser humans that have no ambition no fucking drive they just sit on their fucking hands and uh, and they seem to have more for whatever reason. And on days like this, that's frustrating. And I'm lucky because I don't have mental illness. I'm not depressed. I'm not sad. I don't feel bad for myself. I know that I'm lucky. Uh, I can make my own happiness. I can obviously, I can be by myself. With the exception of Bear, I haven't... I don't have friends, like, for the last eight months, uh, short of the people I work with, like, I'm not around anybody. I see my mom maybe once a week or so, maybe a little bit more sometimes, but, you know, you need that, like, you need at least one human, you know, everybody just needs one person. Yeah. So, if you were one of the people who feels as if they have put in the work 
like truly done what they need to do. Things like not drinking for 12 years. Anything that's similar to that and you don't feel like you're fucking appreciated or you don't, you're not seeing the, the fruits of your labors. Uh, one, I, I feel the same way. So you're not, you're not alone. If, if you look around and you see these fucking lazy, selfish people that just, they, they're just not as good of a fucking human as me or you. Just keep going. Fuck them. Run them the fuck over. Life and success and happiness is not it's not linear and the people who are the most unhappy and the most selfish and just the shittiest human beings sometimes have the most privilege the easiest lives and uh yeah but anyways I just looked at the surf camera, and uh, Jabroni is going, and I'm sure Barrelton is going. And uh, my plan since yesterday has been Barrelton. I gotta run inside Meyer real quick and get a couple supplies, but we're gonna go to Barrelton. And hopefully, uh, I mean, if it gets to five feet at eight seconds and the weather isn't that bad, be an epic day so <clears throat> enough with the bullshit Let's go. Let's go.